we move on to 6.2 of the synthesis. So this slide showing definition of photosynthesis. So it is a biological process that captures light energy and transforms it into the chemical energy of organic molecules, which are manufactured from carbon dioxide and water. This is the overall chemical reactions in photosynthesis, whereby this process require carbon dioxide, water, the light energy that will be captured by chlorophyll, which is pigment found in chloroplast. With all these, will generate glucose, oxygen, water. So, in this reaction, 12 molecules of water is required to produce 12 oxygen atoms. Hydrogen atoms from water are transferred to carbon dioxide to form sugar molecule. And at the same time, oxygen is released as byproduct. Basically, photosynthesis is a redox reaction, whereby carbon dioxide is the oxidizing agent. It is an electron acceptor, which accepts hydrogen atoms. Water is the reducing agent. It is electron donor, which is donate hydrogen atoms. Thus, in redox reaction, in a simplified equation, this is what equation look like. So, we can see that Photosynthesis is endergonic process because it requires energy and this energy will be keep or kept as chemical energy and is provided by light energy. When you're looking at this slide, we can see that carbon dioxide and water which consists of carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen, they are shuffled and end up as glucose, water, and oxygen. During the movement of these atoms, what occurs in the photosynthesis is splitting of water, where Water is split into hydrogen and oxygen, incorporating the electrons of hydrogen into sugar molecules and releasing oxygen as a byproduct. Now, let's have a look site of photosynthesis. We are focusing photosynthesis in plant. Therefore, basically, photosynthesis occur on the leaf and at leaf it has mesophyll cell basically it is photosynthetic tissue in interior of the leaf has many air spaces and high concentration of water vapor each mesophyll cell has 20 to 100 chloroplasts you can clearly see in the interior of the leaf the mesophyll cell are within it and it's surrounding the vein of the leaf. Other than that, the leaf also have stomata. These are microscopic pores in the epidermis which allow the interior of the leaf exchange gases, carbon dioxide and oxygen with the outside and veins which carry water from roots to the leaf, carry off sugar from the mesophyll cells to non-photosynthetic areas of the plant, such as roots. Move on. 
chloroplast. This is double membrane organelle that has outer and inner membranes. Inner membrane encloses the fluid field region known as stroma. Suspended in stroma are structure known as thylakoids. Thylakoids are interconnected flat disc-like sacs in chloroplast. Generally, thylakoids are third membrane system and they are arranged into stacks called grana. It has what we call it thylakoid lumen, which is a fluid filled interior space. Thylakoids has membrane known as thylakoid membrane. Some of the thylakoid membrane extend from one granum to another. Thylakoid membrane has pigments photosynthetic pigments that absorb visible light at different wavelengths. Therefore, thylakoid membrane play important role during light reaction. Okay, now you are looking at chloroplast. It's double membrane organelle that has outer membrane, inner membrane separated by intermembrane space. Within inner membrane, there is fluid field region known as stroma with thylakoid embedded within stroma. The thylakoid, as you can see, it has thylakoid membrane, thylakoid lumen, and it is arranged as granum. So in the chloroplast, Pigments necessary for the light capturing reaction of photosynthesis are part of the thylakoid membrane. Photosynthetic pigment can be found there and this pigment will involve in light reaction. Whereby in stroma, Kelvin cycle or dark reaction shall take place to produce sugar.